we think we see snow. Yeah, and it's like 70 degrees out. It is snow. Right here. Snow. It's April 12th. There's snow. And it's 70, and it's 70 degrees. degrees. Seriously. And here, you can see the majestic blend in his natural habitat going to start working, tripping over something. There he is. So majestic. So majestic. So loud. And now he's eating a tree. Amazing. Hey guys, it's Panda Man. And today, well, let's resume this. It is probably the highest temperature we've had all spring. Definitely is. It's about 70 out right now. And the sun's beating down on us. We don't even need our coats anymore. And you probably saw that sequence in the beginning of all the plants starting to grow. And moss and stuff. So anyways, in today's episode, I was thinking we build a log storage. Yeah. Because I, I, I didn't know what we were going to do. Sorry for that cut. So we already have our kindling right here. But since we're thinking about having a campfire tonight, parents, we didn't ask them yet. But we have to be prepared for that. So we're thinking of building a log storage since they have no excuse for it being too cold. So probably right around here in this area next to the kindling. So what I'm thinking is we do some poles coming out of the ground on either side and small walls around it in like a bracket shape and then a little roof on top and then we can put logs underneath it. How are we so, going to do the roof to pack it some water? The roof? Yeah. Well we can pack in moss because that's much better at protecting it from water than ferns and this is important for it. Or we could use bark if we can find a big enough piece. We could use dirt. We do have a pretty big piece right there. We might be able to use that. And to let the moss grow, we put, the, put the moss upside down and put dirt on top of it. So we'll That's probably not going to last very long, but we could put this on top and then fill in the cracks if there are any with moss. So Wait, that's gonna be small we're going to get that time lapse in and we'll see you when we're finished probably. Okay, before we get that time lapse going, Brennan came up with a little life hack for our so, I don't know if this this situation will ever come up very often, but we have two screws missing right here, so the saw blade can wobble. So, Brennan came up with the idea of putting sticks in the holes, and as you're about to see, if I get a piece without a knob, that it holds it in perfectly. Just a little wobble, but it's the best you can do with our materials. So, back to the time lapse. Okay, we're in mid time lapse. We got one, two, three, four, five, six sticks in there. So, about a quarter or a third, however high we're gonna make it. And while I was looking for sticks, I found this really good chopping log for the hatchet that we got from our grandpa. It was the weekend before last. 
Oh no, it was last weekend. And here it is. It's about the width of my arm. And pretty hard for what it looks like. Even if it's a little rotten. I don't think we'll have to do anything with that hole because this is plenty, this space right here is plenty big enough for chopping no, I'm logs. I'm making a signal so we know where it is. Okay. And it's far enough away from the camp so we're safe here. And there's also some other options around here like that one and that one over here which is slightly less rotten and a little closer to camp which is more convenient and it shouldn't affect safety at all but the downside for this one is there's a lot of random sticks in the way so let's get rid of some of those but it's definitely a lot freshly or dead however you say that so it's harder and will last longer than the other one so we're gonna go back to making that wall and we'll see you when it's done. Okay, so it's almost four, so we're probably gonna start heading in now. But we got the wall nearly finished and that's the end of this video. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want more, and see ya. Bye bye.